All right, so welcome back to Pinot News. I apologize, I've been I've been busy this weekend, man. A lot of, I got a lot of things going on in my own life, things I have to take care of that are more important than this YouTube shit. But we have a paid request from my boy TK Mal. He asked us about the Ford Maverick. So I figured I'd go through and do a proper review of this car and kind of explain like what the hubbub is all about right and i mean because i've actually been following this you know I mean, since it came out you know I mean, it's small trucks or something that i kind of like i dig i had a s10 you know what i'm saying i'm a chevy guy like i'm not a ford guy i fucking hate fords with a passion but you know i mean i actually believe it or not i had one of these um somebody sold me one of these when i was about 19 and i stashed it in the garage because you know what i'm saying i was 19 it didn't have any fucking money you know what i mean i wanted to restore it and you know what i mean like it ended up getting towed and bad things happen shit goes on life goes on is what it is anyway so this is a 1976 ford maverick they made them from 1970 to 1979 they were supposed to be like a fuel efficient option right in the 1970s right after like the horsepower wars were kind of winding down and you know the big um like uh, oil crisis happened back in the 1970s after Nixon took us off the petrodollar, so or I took us off the gold standard. And this all these usually came as standard with a 249 inline six. They had an option for a 140 inline six, a 200 inline six, and a 302 V8. But the largest option that they had was a 249, which is the same motor that was in Jeep Cherokees and Jeep Wranglers up until 2007, right? Because uh, you know what I'm saying. Ford owned AMC at one point. But anyway, all right. So today, this is the Ford Maverick. Uh, they brought it back out as a pickup truck, kind of like an El Camino type of deal. Let's be honest here. It, it's it's a small truck, and we've been begging for a small truck for a long time in the car community. Everybody misses their S10s and the Rangers and, you know I mean, the B200, B2000 series that they used to have, right? They were really popular back in the day. Um, front view of the Ford Maverick. This is the bed. <laughs> Cabin. Kind of plasticky, kind of chintzy. Notice, like, kind of like the heating controls are kind of, uh, whatever. I mean, it has a touch screen, but it's not really, like, a good touch screen. Old school standard dials. I'll be honest, I like that as in a general thing. Um, I hate those controls on the fucking steering wheel. I don't know who the fuck thinks they're useful. Like, I'm assuming it's a government thing, right? Like, the government's like, you have to have these controls. Also, um, a bit of an issue I have with this truck as as just a as a thing with me um there's no stick and there's no stick on the column that's a bit of a problem for me as as just as being a car guy you know what i mean like i feel like you should have at least one of the two right i'm assuming this is one of these uh push button or dial joints i think that's a dial there in the ground right in the middle console to turn like drive reverse neutral whatever it is i fuck that's that comes out of mercedes and they're garbage and i hate them all right, next slide. Okay, towing and payload capacity. It offers 1,500 pounds of payload capacity, which means it'll hold about probably about 2,500 pounds in a bed before, you know what I'm saying, like you're really rubbing them with the tires. And 2,000 pounds of towing capacity uh, with a turbocharged four-cylinder and an optional towing pa package. The Mavericks can tow up to 4,000 pounds. Um, this small truck is made for... A market I don't think really exists anymore, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, maybe, you know what I mean? Like, because this is, what this is, this is, most of these are two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive vehicles. They're highway runners. Like, they're literally made to, like, you know, I don't know. Like, if you're running cross-country and you want to have a truck, like, feel better that you have a truck, it's kind of like the Colorados used to be with the rental companies. You know, is what it is. All right. Um, curb weight is somewhere around 3,700 pounds. I um, gave you a comparison here. The Ford Ranger has 4,100 pounds. Ford uh, F-150, you know what I'm saying, is 5,000 pounds. You know what I mean? 2021 Ranger was 4,400 pounds, right? That's just, you know I mean? The curb weight, wanted to put this in. There will be no 4x4 four four version. There is no four-wheel drive on these. These are, if you, there's an all-wheel drive system. 
that is available for them. That's an important part, right, for all you guys who live in places where it snows, right? All-wheel drives, it's okay in the snow. <laughs> like you'd much rather have four-wheel drive if you know what you're doing, you know what I mean? This is what we all kind of wanted, right, was these S10s, right? You know what I mean? The end of the day. Like, this is kind of what everybody was looking for. We've all been begging to get these trucks back, these old school, simplistic, basic things. And this is kind of along that type of route, you know what I mean? Chevy tried to do this back in the day, and it didn't work out so well, you know what I mean? Here's a comparison. Uh, on the right-hand side is the Ford Maverick. On the left-hand side is the Ford Ranger, right? Ford F-150 versus the Ford Maverick. You can see how much smaller it really is. Like, it, it is really legitimately smaller than the other one, right? Uh, this is the old school uh, 1500, right? You know what I'm saying? From Chevrolet. They came out with the Col uh, Colorado in 2004 after they killed, um, you know I mean, the Ford F or the, the S-10, right? 1990s Ranger, right? Man, listen, where am I? Oh, oh, hang on. Okay, this is the Ford Maverick versus the Ford F-150 versus the Ford Ranger. You notice why they wanted something smaller, like legitimately smaller. The see the Ford F-150, right? And I'm saying see the Ford Ranger. Not a lot of real differences in size when it comes to the F-150 and the Ranger. Like they took the Ranger and they just made it gigantic, right? Because how you make your money off a truck is the fact that basically a truck is nothing more than a car with a whole bunch more space, right? Like the vast majority of a truck is just open air, right? You know what I mean? Like the bed's open air. You know what I mean? Like most of that room underneath the hood is open air. The doors being that long in the middle of them is nothing but air, right? That's how you make your money. You're basically selling individuals something that just has sheet metal wrapped around it. This is... This is what we used to do with like the old Rangers and stuff. This has a five liter in it. You know what I mean? It didn't come standard. None of these came standard with a five liter, right? Uh, this is 1996 S10, right? And what do you do? You jack them up, right? You jack them up and then you ride in high, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is what this is what we did with these. Everybody knew knew like an old guy who had one of these. And you kind of, like you walk, you ever take a walk around your neighborhood and you'll see one sitting in somebody's backyard, right? You know, and you go, oh man, you're like, that's... I'd love to grab a hold of that. That would be awesome to do something with. So, all right. If you're looking for a, a truck with a V8, right? I wanted to do a price comparison here. Like, you know what I mean? The Ford Maverick, you know what I mean, is running you about uh, 20, what was it? 23,000 if you want the all-wheel drive. This one here, you know, the Ford F-150 base model with a v8 you're not getting into for any less than fucking thirty seven thousand dollars right i wanted to make sure everybody understood this right uh this is the raptor raptor is sixty eight thousand right and i mean that's the one that everybody wants the ford f-150 platinum edition is sixty one thousand right just so everybody understands exactly what is going on right so basically you know, I mean, when we get into the Ford Maverick, right, you know, we'll put the Maverick picture up. There we go. Here. Right. When you're getting into the Ford Maverick and you're looking at it, the truth of the matter is, is that if you want a small truck, right, that is basically Ford Expedition, maybe. No. Ford Escape. It's a Ford Escape with the trunk lid cut off what it is right or for no it's a ford flex with the trunk lid cut off or an explorer <sighs> it might be an explorer with a trunk lid cut off or ford flex one of the two either way right doesn't matter it kind of does but still right that's basically what this is and that's why they're calling it the maverick because really it's the el Ran it's the ranchero Right, um, Ranchero was, you know, I mean, Ford's answer to the El Camino. The El Camino was Chevy's answer to the Ford Ranchero. One of the two, the El Camino was way more popular because it looked better, right? But the Ford Maverick, I think it looks like dog shit. I don't really like it as a truck. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's way too low. I think the fact that it doesn't have four-wheel drive, the fact that it's all being sold on city tires, it's it's... If you haul 
nonsense on a regular basis, you know, like antiques or, you know, a refrigerator here and there or a washer and dryer or something along these type of lines. If you're not one of them type of people who needs a truck bed and you don't want the hassle of having a gigantic F-150 or a Chevy Silverado or a Dodge Ram or, you know, I mean, I don't know, like a Toyota Tacoma or whatever. If you don't want the headache of having like a real truck and having to pay real truck gas prices, this is probably a good vehicle for you in the end of the day. Right. Like if you want to have a small truck, like if your nuts hang to the floor and you don't really care about what people think about you, like this is a great little truck for you as a thing. Right. I'll be honest. I don't. It's not something for me. Right. It's not something that, you know, I go, oh, man, I got to have that. I don't really like the way it looks as a thing. In particular, I don't like the front end. Right. I just 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 don't. Right. Because like it doesn't look like a truck in the front. Right. It seats five comfortably. You know what I mean? I don't know if you have like a kid. This is a great car for your girl. <laughs> you know, like if, if you have a female and you live in like Texas, this is a great car. This is a great little truck for her. Right. Get her a little pimp, pink bumper sticker and put some eyelashes on it. Great little truck. You know what I'm saying? Legit. But. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody jack these up yet or, you know what I mean, like do something extra with them. But it's all-wheel drive, so you'll probably bust a transmission to shit. You know, just is what it is. But Ford guys, you know, they love working on things that are extra complicated and challenging for no reason because Ford guys are dumb. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, yo, look, Tom Pizzopino News, TK Mal. Here you go. Here's my, you know I mean, opinion and breakdown on the Ford Maverick. All right. Peace be like one, my brother. Later, I'm out.